Welcome back and uh, we're coming to you live from now from our studios here at Adesawe in Kanda and uh, we will share with you some uh, some details of what happened in Dominasi uh, yesterday as uh, registration was uh, briefly marred by some macho men who allegedly had been brought in by the sitting member of parliament. Our man Evans Inkum was there in the upper Dintra Western is joined us via Skype. Evans, good morning. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope you are safe because yesterday we understand that the macho man and the MP tried to seize the camera with which you were performing official duty. I hope you're safe. We are. It was really a terrorizing situation yesterday. And I always say that it was like being in the lion's den and coming back alive. Our story can only be likened to the biblical Daniel. But glory be to God, we were able to move out of that particular enclave safely uh, until I got to Diaso. I, I, I mean, my, my inner being was still boiling, and you will understand. You know, Dominus is just a few meters away, a few kilometers away from Dentral Boise, and I, I know that particular community rings right. a bell. That, 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 that was the very place Major Mahama was brutally murdered. And it was really a hard pill. But I must tell you, Johnny, it mm. was a sad day for the uh, parliamentary acts, mm. the, the act on vigilantism and uh, related offenses, that is Act 999, which was passed in 2019. Because it states clearly, or it states clearly, that under no circumstance should vigil vigilantism be, be, be entertained. Right. And this was a member of parliament who sat in parliament to pass that law. The same member of parliament came to the registration center mm. in his Nissan SUV full of macho men. How many uh, macho men did you, party. how many macho men did you count yesterday uh, and what exactly were they there to do? I counted about eight of them. Um, uh, you know, so I, of course, I was on the ground just to try and understand what was going on. And um, I was told by one of the um, guys, a member of the MPP guys, telling me that in 2016, um, the former district chief executive, Ambus uh, Amwa, okay. also did the same. Mm. And they, they, they were paying him back because the whole target was him. And aside that, they also targeting people who are not indigents of the uh, community, uh, but want to get their names on the UC's database. Mm. So those were the targets. Then you ask yourself, what happens to the challenge for me? Of course, I must say that the dominant Methodist Primary School, mm. the MPP uh, agent there, I mean, intermittently um, challenge people, I mean, using or going through the due process. Mm -hmm. That is using the challenge form. Okay. But these metro men were also there doing their own thing. So it was an issue of contradictions. Okay. The agent was doing the right thing, but the metro men brought by the MP. We're also doing another thing. Would you, would, would, you say, would you say, Evans, that this is a member of parliament who is a classic lawmaker that puts together a law or helps to put together a law that says file a challenge form and this same lawmaker comes out there to break the law? Is that, is that what happened? Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why will you seize our camera because we are filming and even tell us that why did, why did we not call you before coming to that particular area? As a matter of fact, we know that this particular site is being organized by the Electoral Commission. Right. I had my accreditation from the EC boldly hung around my neck as if my wife has given me a license. Mm. I had my, I, uh, my, my, my official ID card from Media General hung on my waist, very visible, okay? When I went there, as usual, you first go to the arrow, introduce yourself to the arrow as a media person, show the arrow your card, mm. the arrow will also in turn introduce you to the team, 
Right. I also introduced myself to the immigration officer. Interestingly, mm. all the polling stations or all the registration centers, I think about four of them that I visited, they were all, they were manned by immigration officers. Right. Not a single policeman. All manned by immigration officers. So uh, Evans, we introduced ourselves to them. Mm. Uh, Evans, the the reaction of the people there at the time when your cameras were being snatched from you. The reaction when the macho men got in, what was it like? The mood and feel at the time? So when the, East, when the MP was trying to seize our camera, and of course the cameraman will not allow that, it was the immigration officer, one of the immigration officers who told him that, look, honorable, please stop it. These are media people. He was still, he was still insistent that he, we, we hand over the camera to him but we managed, the cameraman managed to stand on his feet and decided to secure his camera. After securing the camera, he insisted that we delete the pictures. But some way, somehow, he just <coughs> allowed, I mean, um, he, he, mm. he, 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 he withdrew from mm. asking us to delay the pictures because it was on the move. And I must say that the metro men were very smart, you know. Mm. They also didn't want to be involved, directly involved. Right. Okay. So as much as possible, they gradually decided to keep a distance. Okay. Because ordinarily, mm. when the leader strives, you expect the supporters to also follow. Okay. But when the MP was trying to seize the camera, mm. they, they, they set aside. Evans, quickly, finally, finally to you, uh, was there police presence when the scaffold began? I'm sure somebody might have called the police. Do you know if the no. police police had also taken action following that no. indecent incident? No, 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 no. There was no policeman. It, it was after the, uh, the district director of elections or the district of elections, uh, 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 EC officer. Um, Arthur Mensa came that I drew his attention to that look. You mm. know that this particular place is a flashpoint. Right. In, tw in 2016, there was a situation. Okay. So why will you come back? I'm going to call for reinforcement. And I even mentioned that in my SOT. And he said, yes, he was going to do that. But he had earlier told the police that they should detail men there because there's a flashpoint. Mm. But why the police did refuse to detail men there? I think it's just a subject of investigation. And you know, if, the, if the government... Uh, Evans, goes, um, I, I, I thank you very much. So I thank you very much this morning. That's our man, William Evans. In Kumi yesterday, they were at Dominasi where we understand that there was some form of attack on them. You can choose to call it uh, an attack on the press. And this will be the second time uh, within a very short time where the camera of press men are being seized. The very first one, remember the matter indicating uh, the MP for Evaluate Jomoro and also Minister of State at the Presidency, uh, Catherine Afeku and her husband at a court and where a Metro TV cameraman was asked to bring his camera. He was actually abused, molested, and the images were deleted from all that camera. Evans and Kum is reporting the same. How many more can we count? Uh, what will be the essence of the challenge form at the, at the registration centers, even as the registration goes on? These are subjects of national concern that you should be concerned about.